This episode of MMA Notes is brought to you by NordVPN. Get advanced security, internet freedom, and complete privacy. Save 73% off the two year plan plus four months free with code MMA Nuts. Wild Alaskan Company. Healthy, affordable, convenient fish sent right to your door. Save $25 off with code BIGFISH25. Watch Shop. From high quality watches to elegant jewelry. Save 25% off with code MMA25. Polar Pod. The most affordable cold plunge pot on the market save 10 percent off with code mma defense soap everyday soaps for everybody use code mma nuts to save 15 percent off your order hey fans this is mma nuts episode 641 641 my name is ingo weigel matt griff mma show by my fans for our fans walk live between serious and ridiculous what's happening <laughs> I'm I'm under the weather. I think <laughs> it's I probably that time passed of year. it to you last week through, through the Zoom internets. I, I don't know, but yeah, I feel like poop, and uh, I've been like going in and out of having energy, and then having it's like hitting a wall. I could like feel it. it's like you're like you're sliding down a wall, and you're like oh, I gotta lay down. Like I don't know, <laughs> and I got this a slippery slope, <laughs> weird cough thing. So we'll see, we'll see. It's going around. It's probably the hiv, probably. We, yeah. it transmits through the internet so i got it again i'm still coughing you know fucking i, mm. I don't know i'm gonna think i'm on day 10 so it's good times and i want to start the show off by saying facebook can go fuck themselves <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> let's get this out of the way so last week's show you know i posted <laughs> up and it says we were talking about conor mcgregor running for president of ireland so in the show notes, it just says Conor McGregor for president of Ireland. So I go to put an ad on our post on Facebook and it gets denied because they said it was a political ad. I'm like, what the fuck? So I had to read through the description just because I said Conor McGregor for president of Ireland. Somehow they're so fucking retarded that they think that's a political ad. Mike, it's a description in our podcast of a topic we talked about, for fuck's sake. Right. And all you can do is submit for a review. You can't even explain it to someone. And I even delete the line off. And they wouldn't let me fucking put an ad. I'm like, fine, I'll keep my $5, you fucking tards. But fuck them. Like, have some goddamn common sense. That's all I want to say. Fuck Those them. Bitches. Yeah. Just bitches over there. Fuck them. I'm with you. <laughs> They're almost like these Chicago Bears. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. I watched that game today, and I was like, yeah, we're going to lose. I can feel it. It's coming. They're going to fuck it up somehow. I swear to God, they're engineering themselves to lose. They're, it's like they're just proving, like, look, we can win, but let's just lose anyway and keep that draft pick. Keep that high draft pick. I say let's lose. Let's get a few, let's get rid of fields, get a real quarterback. Let's I'm fine with that. Fire the coach. Yep. Start over fresh. Yep. Bye, everyone. It's like there's glimpses. Like the defense <laughs> looks nice. Yeah, they do at times. Yep. But again, this this offense and the stupid play calling. Hey, let's not kick a field goal. Let's just throw a fucking Hail Mary. Well, who wants three points? <laughs> like, what are we doing? Uh, and then Hail know. Mary at the end. And then the guy fucking has it in his hands and then just drops it. Yep. Oh, overrated. Whatever. Who cares? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm getting sick of just everyone going for draft picks. It's the same thing with the fucking Blackhawks. Like, we're the fucking worst team in hockey, and you're <laughs> wasting Connor Bedard and his talents. And I don't even know what what you can do. I know they got a lot of guys injured right now, but and they get blown out a couple times recently, like eight I'm goals. Sure. It was like ridiculous. It's like you can't really watch it. It's, it's just... unwatchable. I, I'm usually just scanning for goals and fights now yeah and I'm, i can't watch the fucking game i still hate the announcers and especially when i have the woman announcer on i'm like you gotta be fucking kidding me mm -hmm. this fucking bullshit so it's a tough to be a chicago sports fan right now super tough i mean is anybody else even good i don't watch baseball i don't watch basketball so i have no I mean, idea what's the happening. cubs might be all right the Sox are in, in a big hole i don't know about the bulls it seems like it's more of the same i think generally for chicago sports it's pretty grim right now it's not looking good 
I mean, maybe the WNBA. I wonder if our WNBA team's any good. Might What's be. What's that? <laughs> Women's basketball. I don't know what that is. Yeah. I don't subscribe. The only, well, like I think I said before, women's sports, it's fighting in beach volleyball and maybe the curling where they're on the ice. Oh, get down. I don't, think, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think we have that. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. To talk UFT 296. Yeah. Where do you want to start? Well, let's start with the saddest news of the card with. Ariane Celeste and Brittany Palmer both retiring from this. Oh, yes. Yes. Palmer uh, won Octagon, Octagon Girl of the Year uh, for the World MMA Awards, which we'll talk about later in the show. And then she probably retires. That's it. Yeah. She's, There's she's her uh, when she started and when she ended. And God damn, uh, she changed. She, she was way better when she started. And then... I agree. Something weird happened. Her boyfriend, I think, forced a bunch of plastic surgery on her or something. Oh, so. God. Those boyfriends, damn it. I know. But I remember seeing them backstage. I was trying to look at their height online, and it said they were like 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, I'm like, I remember them being about five foot tall when they walked past us. <laughs> hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't believe any of that. That would be like trying to tell me Joe Rogan's six foot tall. If, if Brittany and <laughs> is no. five 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 six and Joe Rogan six foot, and he is not, so I don't know if that's good or bad for the sport having those ladies retire. They've been around forever. I say let's get some uh, some new blood in, some thick blood. Bring us some of those Motown ladies, <laughs> some some of them BKFC ladies. Yeah, like them thick. So that happened. Uh, what else do you want to talk about? There's a lot going on in this. With the UFC, thing. well, there's a yeah. there's a brawl in the stands we can get to, but I mean, do we want to talk about the main event real quick? And then sure, we'll let's start there and work around. Well, I, I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I um, struggled watching this one. Like I, it was Covington was quite. I don't know. Lethargic is is a is an accurate word. Perhaps. He might have had to have. I, I don't know what was I, going on there. I don't know if he was ill, but uh, Edwards seemed to piece him up pretty good every single round, round after round. Um, just didn't go Covington's way in any way, shape, or form. Um, I mean, there were some takedowns, I think, by Covington, especially the fifth round. I think he got a, a nice takedown. Um, but Edwards was able to get up every time. And it just never... I don't know. Covington just never could get anything going. So I had him, I had Edwards winning every single round. I don't know about you. Same. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. And I don't know if it's just ring rust, uh, terrible game plan. Was he injured coming in? <clears throat> you, you'd like said some bullshit about Leanne Edwards father too, that had been murdered. Mm. It's like, you'll see him in hell or something along those lines. So even the shit talk was off. Like his shit talk is terrible, but he took it to another level of terrible. And then he didn't even perform. So usually he's like Mr. Cardio and fucking yep. pushes the pace on you. He just fucking sat back the entire fight. Let Leon bring the fight to him. Rarely went for a takedown. Maybe went for two and just absolutely did nothing except absorb punishment. Yeah. Maybe he's got what that, what we have, you know, could be ill. It could be. Some fighters pulled out. Uh, I forget. I think it was Ian Gary. He pulled out of his fight for being ill. And I heard a bunch of other camps. People were getting sick. So it's a possibility. But mm -hmm. I mean, I'm very glad with the result. I didn't want him to win. I picked him to win. And I'm very glad that Leon retained. So uh, it was kind of funny because President Trump was there and Colby's such a big supporter. And then afterwards, as Colby's giving a speech, Trump's like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to your bullshit. So he's like, fuck you, loser. Right. He only backs winners. That's true. Him and Kid Rock coming in again. Yeah. Coming in hot. <laughs> Kid Rock's Crowd become, become like the new Ted Nugent or something. Something like that. Yeah. It's all about America. Yep. Speaking of which, let's hit some sponsor action. 
Okay, let's start with a little bit of Manscaped. Ho, 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 gentlemen. Get ready to jingle and deck your balls this holiday with the help from our friends over at Manscaped. The leaders in below-the-waist grooming have just launched their performance package, 5.0 Ultra, but I like to call it the small gift for your big package, featuring Santa's number one helper, the Lawnmower 5.0. <laughs> Manscaped can guarantee you'll be stuffing more than just your stocking this season. Let your ornaments shine and enjoy 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. Mrs. Claus will thank you. Will, will Santa's number one helper come over here and wrap some of these fucking presents that I have to wrap still <laughs> and shave your balls and wrap presents for you. Yes. It's all about the performance package of 5.0. There it is. And you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. Give the gift of Manscaped this holiday season. That's right. This episode <clears throat> is sponsored by Blue Chew. Let's talk about sex, guys. Remember the days when you were always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed, the bedrooms, wherever you want to throw down. Listen up, bluechew.com. And you can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. It's a simple process. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Best part, it's all done online. No waiting at the pharmacy or weird doctor's office visits. No awkward conversations. No weird doctors. I like that. Hey, Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. You can try Blue Chew free. We use our promo code NUTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com. Promo code NUTS to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. We thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. As we know, the holidays are here, and that means one thing. It's time to break out our favorite outerwear from True Classic. True Classic's ultra-comfortable, perfect-fitting essentials make for the perfect gift for the men in your life. From jackets to jeans to sweaters, everything they make is crafted with premium fabrics to help you look and feel great anytime, anywhere. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now, Blue. Uh, True Classic. And right now, for a limited time, you can get yourself and the men in your life the most loved gifts of all at a discounted rate. Get 25% off your first order at trueclassic.com slash MMA nuts. That's right. And the best part is that True Classic sells premium products at an affordable price. You can get their best selling t shirts, hoodies, jeans, and more in three, six, and nine packs. Plus, mm -hmm. they even have some exclusive special edition packs built for the holiday season. But seriously, when you choose, you can't go wrong with True Classic. All their clothing is designed to be versatile work with your lifestyle so you can look and feel your best all damn day in fact true classic is so committed to their product they even have a hundred percent perfect fit guarantee and easy returns men this is the perfect gift for you but also a gift for her so if you're ready to upgrade your closet shop now with our exclusive link at trueclassic.com slash mma nuts and save up to 25 25 percent off your first order End the year with a holiday cheer. Thanks to True Classic. Word. Just like that. Back, Back to the show. Something. Uh, let's see. We're talking about Leon and oh, let's you know, talk about this Sean Strickland fight. There's a little uh, crowd video. I mean, yeah, can, I have the video. Can we show the video? Do you have the video? Yeah, I could, we can show this one. Is it's a crowd shot, not the UFC one? Oh, okay. I got the one from ESPN MMA. Oh, good. Got it. So Sean's Gilbert Burns family is right behind him. He's like, move child, move wife. And now it's on. He's going crazy. He's going after He's going it. Going ham. There he goes. So, I mean, words were said. Words were said. There was some finger pointing prior to that and a little exchange, some shit talking. I mean, my question is, is who, who's the idiot that sat these two next to each other? And that almost seems like it was premeditated. Well, it was funny because someone asked that in a post-fight press conference and Dana was going, yeah, who's the asshole that sat those guys together? And Dana's like, yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. That's my fault. 
Oops. But uh, you know, it only is gonna help sell pay per views. They're gonna fight in a couple weeks anyway mm-hmm. at whatever mm-hmm. UFC two ninety seven. So they're just getting it on a little bit early. Nobody got hurt. No, you know. Uh these things happen. Do you what do you want? I mean, Sean Strickland's a wild motherfucker. He's gonna not take kindly. It's like another Diaz brother at this point, you know? Yeah, pretty much. And should we talk about the uh, I'm trying to think about which one to talk about next. Yeah. <laughs> Shavkat Rachmanov oh, versus geez. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. I mean, we can. It didn't go so well, you know. Well, Tom- we even had Tenacious D walked out Wonder Boy. Yeah, it didn't help. It did not help. Rock 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 enough, um, you know, stifling wrestling, you know, pressing Thompson against the cage, just like, you know, I don't know. It it just seemed like a lot of grappling to negate all the possibility of striking, and Thompson never could get anything going, you know. Um and I think he got what did he get? Rear naked choked. Yeah, like, like I think right at the end of the second round. And I it, think it, I want to say Rachmanov was injured too, or oh, really? he couldn't throw kicks. <laughs> so he could only it was just pretty much grappling and boxing for him. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what the injury may have been the ankle injury. Okay. But now this guy's fucking 18 and 0 with 18 finishes. <laughs> it's fucking scary as shit. Which is pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And then on the flip side, you know, Wonder Boy is four years old now. And I just wonder how much longer does he keep going? I mean, that th- that was not going to be a competitive fight. So there's, that's no surprise to me. But that's even with an injured Rachmanov coming after you. And you couldn't even keep him off, right? Yep. So I just, it's another one of these fights from we on, hmm, how much more do you have left and who who do you fight from here on out i i don't think there's much going you know um i i can't see him fighting anyone else you know f- definitely not for any sort of title run anything else that happens i i also don't think he's that exciting of a fighter to be like having these like one off i don't know he i don't even know who you'd put him up against it's like what's the point right i mean i know yeah. if, he's older and people seem to have figured out how to, how to negate his flashy striking and stuff. And it just, you're just, I don't know. I mean, at least he's not getting KO'd. So there's that. Right. So, so. but I mean, this was the first time he's ever been submitted to. So, right. right. Um, yeah. It's kind of like Machida. Like he had his moment in the sun for a little bit and then people figured him out. And then Thompson's the same kind of thing. Like people figured it out. And then age creeps up, and you can't do that speedy in and out shit anymore, because he's relying on a speed. You cannot. Okay. So, and then we move on to the Patty Pimblet versus Tony Ferguson. And here's another guy. Ferguson's thirty nine, and he had David Goggins in his corner. Also, didn't help th- that fucking training and him in the corner did nothing, right? No. Nope. So first round, Pimblet is just picking him apart on the feet, and then rounds two and three, it's just mauling him on the ground. And at some point, Patty's nose it looked like got broken, so he was having trouble breathing, and looked like his cardio got a little fucked up. But now it it's a, a seven fight losing streak for Ferguson. Well, here's a stat that I'm yeah. not sure if you're aware of. Tony Ferguson is now tied with BJ Penn for the longest losing streak in UFC history. So it's not good. <laughs> well, he also on the flip side of that, he was 12 and 0 at one point. He was on a 12 fight win streak. I mean, yeah, but that was like five years ago. <laughs> so and he's not getting any younger. He was what is he? No. He's, he's 30, 39. Nine. Yeah. So the guy hasn't won a fight since 2019. Wow. I mean, he's been through a murderer's row, like, you know, yeah, in that for sure. Gaethje, Oliveira, Darius, Chandler, Diaz, Bobby Green, Patty Pimlet. What, like, you know, he had Cerrone and Pettis in there, even he beat those guys. But I mean, he's, I don't know. He, he, since he fought Donald Cerrone back in June of 2019, he has not won a fight since then. It's been all, and that happened to be in Chicago, actually, Illinois. So maybe the curse of the Chicago. 
or something. I don't know. I'm not sure, but well, it's another one of Dana White was kind of going, "Oh, I really hope he retires." Well, <clears throat> don't keep employing him then. I don't know. I mean, he just he at least he didn't take a ton of abuse in this fight, <laughs> but he's been taking a lot of abuse in some of these fights. He sure is. I'm just fucking like, oh my god! Like, you get two guys right there. Like, probably need to shut it off. And then, if you saw that Bryce Mitchell Josh Emmett fight, like, oh my I god, did. brutal fucking nasty. KO from Emmett I, on yeah, Mitchell. Just I, we probably can't show that, but yeah, it it just he I don't know. He went out out. And then was convulsing. Looked like he was having a seizure when he came back yeah. from, and he was down for a long time. Yeah, so pretty nasty. Of course, Joe Rogan's like, "That was the greatest, power, most powerful <laughs> punch knockout in the history, maybe ever." It's like, not oh like every. I, I think he has like short term memory loss. So every time, <laughs> maybe he's like Dory from Finding Nemo. <laughs> like, every this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Every time. Like, no, it's not. Like, it, yeah, it's a fucking good knockout, but it's not the greatest knockout you've ever seen. You've seen a lot of shit. It's the greatest yeah. knockout maybe this year. You'd be in contender for that, but fuck. Yeah. And then there was a fight of the night. It, it was on the prelims. I don't know if it was official, but I deemed it. It was Aldana versus Rosa. Like, these two women just beat the shit out of each other. It was reminiscent of Forrest Griffin versus Stefan Bonner. And then they just posted a picture of themselves oh, in the yep. hospital afterwards. Like, oh, my God. It's nasty. Like, yep. they were just, uh, it was unbelievable. Just back and forth, beating the piss out of each other, bleeding all over each other. I'm like, oh, these are these are the fights I miss when two people are just going for broke. Like, that was a fun surpriser on the undercard le leading up to the pay-per-view because mm -hmm. this was one of the cards where i actually watched a lot of the fights live where normally i'll just watch everything the you know sunday morning sunday afternoon so i caught yeah. that one live i was like holy shit it's pretty nasty stuff they beat the crap out of each other for yeah. sure and uh cody garbron on the undercard gets a win by the way he's down there Squire. Making it happen. Making it happen in <laughs> silence. Yeah. Under, under the radar. Silence is violence or something like that. Sure. Uh, it's Sweet Witch. Just probably hit a couple sponsors before we move on. Okay. Okay. We're brought to you by OneSkin. The holidays are here, which is perfect timing for today's sponsor, OneSkin. Whether you're traveling or hosting this year, OneSkin is your best defense against the havoc. Holiday stress can wreak on your skin. What makes OneSkin the best? Their products are powered by groundbreaking peptide OS1, which is the first ingredient scientifically proven to prevent the accumulation of age senescent cells, the primary culprit behind skin aging. The real magic OS1 has actually been proven in the lab to reduce the biological age of skin by several years, meaning it not only prevents but slows down skin aging, leaving you with healthier, more hydrated, and glowing skin. One Skin just launched their mini bundles, which include face and eye topical supplements, body lotion, and cleanser, which all come in a cute travel bag. If you're traveling this winter, One Skin has your mini skincare essentials covered. And if you're gifting this holiday season, One Skin's mini bundles are the perfect stocking stuffers. For a limited time, our listeners and viewers can enjoy an exclusive 15% off One Skin products using the code FIT15 when you check out at oneskin.co. This holiday season, give yourself and your loved ones a head start on New Year's resolutions to swap your skincare for skin longevity. That's right. Here's the travel kit. You Ooh. got not one, not two, not three. Oh. Not four. You got four goodies inside said travel kit. That and is then you could also stuff. fit more stuff in said travel kit. Cause what? You got a lot of room in this package. That is crazy. So One Skin is the world's first skin longevity company. One Skin addresses skin health at the molecular level, treating the root causes of aging so skin feels and appears younger. It's time to get started with your new face, eye, and body routine at a discounted rate today. New mm -hmm. customers get 15% off with code FIT15 at oneskin.co. That's 15% off 
oneskin.co with code FIT15. The new year is approaching. Now is the best time to invest in your skin. Age healthy with one skin. And we are also brought to you by Lucy. Lucy Lucy. makes next level nicotine. If you're tired of buying the same mediocre pouches everywhere you go, stop settling and switch to Lucy. Why Lucy? Lucy stands out in otherwise boring as fuck market because every other nicotine pouch company is owned by Big Tobacco. Lucy has pouches with flavor capsules for an instant rush. Nicotine strengths up to 12 milligrams and gum with actual flavor. Uh, Lucy is made by people who love using nicotine for grinding at work late nights or at the bar or taking the edge off in the morning. Since they know nicotine, Lucy products have unique features like a double-sided lid that has a disposable area for your used pouches. What makes Lucy unique? Premium ingredients and flavors, 100% pure nicotine with no tobacco ever. A cornucopia of strengths and flavors from mild, 2 milligram, to spicy, 12 Whoa. milligram. It's hot. <laughs> Stay traditional with mint and wintergreen. Embrace island life with tropical mango and pomegranate or get weird with espresso nice. and apple cider. That sounds you gotta get weird. <laughs> strange. With the holidays coming up, Lucy pr- products are super discreet when in use, making coping with even your least favorite relatives a little easier. Skip stopping at the gas station and order online. Lucy.co slash fit FIT15 and use promo code FIT15 to get 20% off your first order. Lucy offers free shipping and has a 30 day refund policy if you change your mind. That's L U C Y dot C O and use code FIT15 to get 20% off and always free shipping. And here comes the fine print Lucy products are only for adults of legal age. And every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. What? That's what they say. That's crazy. Yeah. And right back to the show. What else is going on? Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How about let's talk about uh, Michael Venom Page. Um, yeah. There's a you correction. Know, they, I thought he signed with PFL, but no, he signed with the UFC. I know. Uh, shocker. Dana White uh, confirmed this post conference, UFC uh, 296 post fight press conference. And apparently, um, he's going to be facing Kevin Holland at UFC 299, which is, uh, I think, set to take place sometime in March uh, in Florida. So exciting. Exciting. It was a good matchup for him. And, yeah. and weird because. I don't know how the wires got mixed last week when the reports were out that he had signed with PFL. And I was like, ah, that kind of sucks because I thought there'd be a hell of a lot of matchups. And apparently the UFC thought that. So, and there you go. So there, I like that action. There you go. I've got some tweets of the week. I got like four. I'm just going to speed run. So there Do you it. go. Man caught spiking his female date drinks with Viagra to make sure they don't get boners because you can never know anymore these days. So my question is, what kind of fucking circles is that guy hanging out in? <laughs> you don't oh, know? Geez. He doesn't know. And who's going on a date with that guy with a tattoo? It, well, over his and, eyeball? hence why he looks like he's going to prison. And shirts that go hard, I'm Van going to kick your ass. <laughs> I love it. And then this one, warning, this property is protected by a pit bull <laughs> with AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> that's epic. That, that's terrifying. Oh, man. And oh, then yeah. the last one is just, uh, listen, say what you want about him, but Sean Strickland's 2023 run went pretty crazy. So he got a brawl at UFC 296. He had that intruder by his house where he had pull a gun on him. Won the bell and uh, you know, he likes to represent the gay community. So if it sounds gay, he's in. That guy's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But you want him on your team. If there's if shit's going down, I think that's the guy I'm taking. Maybe even first. <laughs> 
what else has happened? Um, well, so interesting news from Bare Knuckle FC. Uh, the welterweight champ, Gorjan Slaveski, apparently okay. has been stripped of his welterweight title belt because, according to um, reports, he uh, accepted a fight outside the organization without their approval, and then, therefore, their response was to strip him of his belt. And they said that they're going to have an announcement coming up, what they're going to do with this vacant belt. And uh, I don't, it doesn't say that he's been released from his contract, but they took away his belt. What, what do you, what do you, I, I, I'm a little, what do you make of this? Like, it's, it just seems like. Well, I'm it. surprised they didn't sue him because any other organization, if you fought outside of an organization, you get sued because typically you have a contract that says you only fight in that organization. Mm -hmm. So maybe, I don't know if he's a big enough draw to them. Because I'm just thinking if it was Mike Perry, that'd be a big problem. It would he be. went off somewhere else and fought. Because he's like their poster boy. So this guy mm -hmm. does it. It sounds like a slap on the wrist because they didn't sue him. So it sounds like a no harm, no foul kind of deal. Makes sense. Yeah. I have a little KO of the week. Ooh. I have one. I don't know what the sound is. Oh, oh damn. Oh, I, man. I dislocated that, something there. <laughs> that had some percussion to it. Jesus. Oh, man. That oh, ain't right. That guy ain't right. <laughs> that doesn't look good. No. Here is he okay. And then I got this old video. Do you remember this one? This one was fun. I like this. I'm scared. No, no, nah, this is this is uh, good. Like two kids. Oh. The boy go ahead and punches the girl in the back with the cheap shot. And oh damn! He's like, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> brings him up. <laughs> I love it. That's what you get. Yeah, you don't be a cheap motherfucker and hit someone in the spine when they're not Come looking. At, exactly. And then the girl just beats your ass. So. That's all I have until I got a couple of things for knowledge. Um, yeah, I have a knowledge thing. I mean, I the I was going to talk about the World MMA Awards, but that's okay. We don't need to. There's been some winners announced. You know, Leon Edwards got Fighter of the Year. So, and uh, I think the uh, KO of the year was Leon Edwards versus Usman. So that makes sense. Uh huh. I can see and, that. And then. Uh, Grasso versus Shevchenko was upset of the year. I, I think that to me that seems like that is makes sense because yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of other upsets out there. You know, there was the other ones that they had on the list weren't like were like in PFL and Bellator, but that was like that was the big one. So if you want to see more, just go to the probably Junkie or um, Fighting has like a list of it going MMA Fighting MMA Junkie. Yeah, so lots of stuff happening. How about college? Uh, we're, we're fading here. We're, we're both fading. I'm just sick not, trying to make I'm it I'm just not this, feeling well. Sorry, I apologize. Um, <laughs> I, I I wish I could share sound on this thing because they yeah. put some uh, some music to it. But I just want to get your take. I found this on the Instagram. Here's a gentleman that decided to put a rocket in his pants. And it's then never as well. And blew himself up. <laughs> blew his face off. Cool. Yeah. Rockets are the worst firework to ever deal with. There's no consistency. That's why no. I never, I bought them once and I said, oh, I'm never buying those things again. Because sometimes they don't fly. Yeah. Or, or they sometimes they there. fly sideways. That happens too. I've had one where the, the big, the wooden stick from whatever pressure, yeah. it snapped in half and then the firework went that way. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, oh, fuck. Well, or it's just me when I just take a handful of the fireworks and then just throw them in the fire pit yes. <laughs> without telling anybody anything. I don't do that anymore. That was in my younger days, but you know, good times. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to open up. I got tree canologists here. Hopefully they're street legal. I don't know what they are. Oh. Well, someone's having a fun Christmas. 
You got oh. E-Man, Skeletor, <laughs> and fucking Elf on a Shelf. Oh, man. That's epic. I one like it. Uh, shocked lady. Three men, one Barbie. Yeah. And then this ad for vodka. Escort quality hooker pricing. <laughs> $9.99. You got to like oh, that. Uh, Chicago Lake Liquor Spice. I love it. That's good and marketing then, right there. It is. And then someone said, hey, they replaced a pony at my local mall with this. What in the actual I, I don't know. It's apparently a seat with uh, some lady hole. I've never seen that kind of action. That I don't looks... think I ever want to see it. <laughs> I feel like that would be like illegal. <laughs> yeah, I think it's violating some kind of health code and law. I don't mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Christmas break is coming up. We're going to be off for a good week. Good week, yes. So, like, Merry Christmas and shit? Yeah, and hopefully we won't be sick still by the time we come back. I hope not. I hope not. I'm running 10 days, I think, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Some shit's going around. Stay healthy out there, people. (laughs) That's right. Merry Christmas. Get your Kwanzaa's in. Yes. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. Let's shut down. Let's get out of here. (laughs) (laughs) That has been this week's edition of Nuts. My name is Engel Weigel. Thanks for playing. Yeah.